Why am I naked? We cleaned your clothes. We? Who's we? Me and my mother. Why were you kissing me? Are you trying to sleep with me or something? What? You know what? I gotta go. You can't. The hell I can't. We made you dinner. I made you dinner. Are you trying to put something in my drink? I'm not stupid, you know. You're the stranger. I'm just trying to help you. Help yourself. I'm out of here. What are you doing? Get back. What's your name? Just call me Bob. Welcome. Come and have a seat. Thank you, O Heavenly Father, for I'm sorry, what's your name again? It's okay. uh, Bob. It's Bob. Thank you, dear Lord, for gracing us with Bob in his presence. We thank you for strength, power, this wonderful food. Plenty of food. Amen. such a good idea. I know, sir. That's the finest wine in all of California. You must have a sip. Now, I'm trying to stay somewhere. Really. <clears throat> Stuff loosens me up like some kind of animal. Of course. Drinking's not for everyone. No, ma'am. was telling me about how he was hunting and he got attacked by this wild dog. Weren't you, Bob? I, I was hunting. It was dark. I was going to shoot this big old deer, but the little guy snuck up and got me on my blind side. Really? What happened to your shirt? It's hot. What is it, like 500 degrees or something? Well, you know, I'm a hunter as well. Hunters, huh? My mother was one of those. Mother, um, you know Bob was telling me about how well he slept. 
Didn't you? Bob? I was. Oh yeah, I was. Those sheets were great. Thank you, ma'am. You're sweet, Bob. And we really do appreciate that, don't we, Lucy? Are you a family man, Bob? Um, well, I had a wife. Oh, really? Mother? I'm sorry. I don't mean to be so intrusive. Don't worry about it. She passed. Forgive me, dear. Well, you're safe with us, Bob. Well, thanks. So is it just the two of you here? Yeah, it's just my father. Just us. Just us. Forgive me for dinner, dear. I forget. Are these his gloves? Yes. Father? Mm. Wesley Estes. Let's see what else we have in here. No. Do you see? Do you see? Wolves wear the skin of sheep, my dear. 2652, those that take the sword shall perish by the sword. It is the victory's darling. It is her duty to serve. What are you still doing here? Get out! You have to go! Good morning, stranger. You 
mentioned you were a hunter. Do you require warm garments for a hunt later? Broad shoulders. Mm -hmm. I think I have something I can lend you. No, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. I think I'd better no. leave you. No. You begin. And I, I will catch up later. You see, stranger, I serve the king. In fact, I am the king. Can you explain your dead wife? If you cannot, then you cannot explain yourself. You have until three o'clock. You cannot escape. I will hunt you down like the animal that you are. But if you do not leave in the next 30 seconds, I will shoot you right now. Bob, go! Just go! Share it with you, son. Here, have a seat. Take it easy, lad. I'm not a cat, just a helping hand. Here, son, you look lost. Have a sandwich. What'd you put in it? No, wait a minute, it's the bread. It's all in the bread, son. Listen, what are you doing out here? What's your name? Bob. Just call me Bob. Bobby. That's a great name. I'm Elroy. Well, uh, thanks for the sandwich, buddy. I gotta go. Leave? Can I go with you? It sounds like an adventure. No, old man, you're not going with me. Don't say another word. I hate repeating myself, got it? Let an old man tag along, won't you, son? Fine, but only for a bit. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Let's go this way. Okay? Thank you. One time there was a preacher buddy of mine. So Jonah, he gets up out of the belly of the well and walks up the end of town. And you gotta understand, he's covered with seaweed. His clothes are bleached white from the stomach acid of the well. And he goes up so one night we're sitting around the campfire and old Jer Jerry Look! Bell old man we need to keep moving we can't stay in one spot for too long we are moving take a break look I'm in a bit of a rut I need to keep moving you don't have to come with me you look tired son come on come on Look, five minutes. Okay. <sighs> Want to hear what I wrote? Not really. 
and just sit in silence, please. All right, here goes. It's a poem. <coughs> <coughs> Why do I love him so? He's but a man, not just any man, a man of wisdom. As we were watching the road, staring at the crisp green pine trees, his hand touched mine. It touched gently. I could feel it pulsing. And I knew in that moment what love was. Love was trusting something that cannot be defined in words, but is always recognized when felt. Though I was very young, I realized what I was feeling. I was him, remembering. He was me, forgetting. We were one. Okay, five minutes are up. If you say so, son. You a family man, Bob? Bob. Just a drifter, Roy. Just a man walking in a desert. You got something you want to say, son? Linda, she was a complicated woman. She was real religious. And one night, I came home kind of early from my job. She was with some little bitch. She was kissing him and moving around. never been like that with me. It hurts, you know? But I grabbed the gun and I tried to kill that bastard. She took the bullet. I hesitate a lot now. Really, I do. I didn't mean to do it. I knew I was going down for it. So I did the only thing I could do when the whole world's screaming in your ear. Ran. Listen. Then again, I did. Just a mess. Nothing left. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I had a son, he died. Really painful, nasty death. It's because of everyone outside of this forest. This is where we come to escape, you and me both, Bob. This is where we come to hide. I'm not angry though. People thought I was, but I'm not. I'm proud of my son, and he's here, and he's there, and now I'm just an old man, but not a lonely one.
breathe just fine, old man. Breathe just deep breaths. I see you fear. I see anger. Be those behind, son. The writer lives on in his work. I see you around. Don't! You're making a big mistake, Mom. You're poisoning my daughter. How dare you assault my beliefs in front of her? Mom, just stop! Lucy, what are you doing? Just stop. I never asked for this life. Bob is the first man I've ever seen since you killed Daddy. Hush up! Not anymore. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of everything.